Beesmus has now been saved because the quests aren't actually as hard as we thought they are. Although you will actually have to do something right now in the game for them to even be easy. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet already as we're insanely close to 100,000 subscribers and you just don't want to miss out on things just like this. But right, so let me actually explain what has actually happened because that thing is you don't actually have to collect all the stickers once the quest is active. Whenever you know Beesmus releases, you don't have to get the stickers then because you can actually get all the stickers that are needed for the Beesmus quests right now And you can give those stickers to the NPCs You can also trade for all of them as well But here is actually the ones you will 100% need for Beesmus and for every NPC So for the easier NPCs like Black Bear and Mother Bear for example You don't really need stickers for them So don't really need to get ready for them specifically Unless you know on it changes it a bit But starting with Brown Bear you will probably need the green plus sign and the green check mark sticker and these are you know obviously really easy for polar bear you will actually need three rubber duckies a wishbone sticker and a giraffe sticker and i'm sure maybe polar bear will be a little different for some players as well in terms of which stickers it'll want so maybe a yellow coffee mug as well or like a baseball swing pink cupcake or something i'm sure these two will definitely be in one of the npc quests for some people as well but for science bear it will definitely have a simple sun and three of them actually and some traffic light stickers and the dapper bears one may actually be different for everyone starting here and maybe science bears as well because if you guys still didn't know or just don't know on it actually said that some of the quests will actually be different for every single player and that's basically just the sticker part and i mean i do think you would most likely for the easier npcs that i just talked about just probably take the easier ones like these over here like the sprout for example the yellow umbrella the doodle s definitely all of the leaf ones by the way and all the mushroom ones definitely all of them all of the tool stickers as well but i do talk about them even more later though definitely you need all of these here that is 100 going to be in this beesmus for everyone for on its beesmus quest bucko bees and riley bees quest you will basically once again want to get loads and loads of tool stickers and mushroom ones too as i just said then for spirit bear it does actually want you to get quite a few flower stickers so get an any of these will be a really good idea. Then some pink chair stickers as well. Where is it over here? The shrugging heart ones, window stickers, the simple skyscraper ones. So basically things like these stickers over here mostly will be for spirit bear, like even the bean bug, the small blue chick, catpole bee, anything like this, the magenta critters. Then for stick bug over here, I am actually 100% sure that the forward facing spider will be for stick bug. The mantis sticker, the scorpion sticker, the left facing ant sticker you will need a couple of these walking stick nymphs and 100% again the right facing stump snail sticker so all of those will most likely be in it because I mean it literally just fits the theme of stick bug like you know all of these are bugs and everything they are leaked there and I'm sure on it will just keep it like that but the amount maybe will be a bit different for people that you know are end game mid game or whatever hive level they are but I am literally sure everyone will need at least these and if I haven't said this already as well you can actually trade for any of these right now you don't actually have to get it yourself so that's definitely a plus then the robo bears beesmus quest is just mostly easy to mid stickers over here and some tool stickers as well so if you just get most of these you'll be kind of good because you're getting them already for the other npcs and if the other npcs won't use them you can basically just use it on robo bear none of the real really hard stickers yet though but for honeybee now there are stickers that are basically 100% already and because honeybee follows this pattern of everything literally being nine you will need nine silly tongue stickers nine honey bee bear stickers and nine honey dipper stickers and yes those are all literally fitting the same thing that honeybee likes so it's basically 100 the gummy bear one will probably change for most players and people will need different stickers 100 but you will need a lot of the same ones like i'm talking like 10 of the yellow high stickers for for example 10 of the cool backpack stickers like you will need a lot definitely the precise ice sticker though for this the black diamond stickers wherever they are so these ones the launching rocket sticker wherever that is basically you will want to get a lot of the easy stickers and a bit of the mid kind of stickers as well like the theoretical intruder one intero bang basically a lot for gummy bear then for the bbm quest and i'll talk about all the b bear ones in a second too but bbm is most likely going to need all of the high 
skins over here and all of the stamp skins over here as well. 100% will need the eviction as well. Same with the banana painting, the abstract painting, maybe this abstract color painting as well. The Nessie probably as well, but everything other than that will just be random and a lot of the random ones as well. Like not only just one of each, or maybe it could be one of each as well and on it changes it, but he will need like, for example, 10 pink chair stickers. Basically just like the gummy bear as well, but even worse since it's BBM. And I mean, then for all of the B bear ones, I actually do think all stickers will be random until about quest 20, where you will need all star signs, then just more random stickers. So basically what I'm trying to say is this Beesmus is really hard because of all the stickers you will need. Like it's basically your entire sticker index will be needed and not only one of each, but like multiple, but you will definitely need to get all the stickers I listed as 100% at least though. Then just get in all the other ones after you get those. Or I mean, you just won't really complete Beesmus, but you can at least trade for them and not just get them yourself to make it a bit easier. But yeah, anyway though, let me know if you guys are actually excited for Beesmus right now, if you guys are getting ready for it. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and bye.